Hey, what's up guys? So you forgot your Wi-Fi password and your router admin password. In my case, I have this Wi-Fi router two years ago. I used it for some events, but then kept it back on my box until recently I pulled it out of the box. I do not know the Wi-Fi password in the router admin password. So the only thing we can do is try to reset everything put it back to its default configuration so that we can use the default username and password to gain access to this Wi-Fi router, then configure it back to the settings that we want. Let's go ahead and do that. Before we get to uh, reset this router, this is a TP-Link router. And as you can see here at the back, you can see the default username and password here is admin admin. Now, most Wi-Fi routers, they always place the default username and password for you to access this Wi-Fi router. So in my experience, most Wi-Fi routers use admin admin if you cannot find that there. If it is not placed at the back, then you need to uh, try and search it over the internet. But I can always say that they always put it at the back, okay? So the next thing we need to do here is try to locate a button that's called a, it's a very small hole here. And then you can see that it says reset, okay? You can read that one. Now for for some Wi-Fi routers, you can see it here at the side, but some also, they have it here. And it, it looks like uh, a small hole, but you can see that you can press a button. Now, the next thing you can do is try to find a pin, or for me, it's it's a toothpick, okay? That can go inside here. You can, before powering this up, you can try and press this one, and you can hear and you can feel that you're pressing a button. If you can hear that, that means I'm pressing this one. Now, if you are going to reset a router, you need to press this one for about uh, five to 10 seconds, or you need to look into the LED lights here. I'm going to power this one on without um, resetting it first, and we, we'll try to observe the lights that are going to blink here. Okay, so this is the power. I'm going to plug that one. Then let's try to see, okay? So you can see there's a light. Let's wait for that. Uh, there's a first light that's blinking out there. Then let's wait up. So another light, that means the internet connection, nothing is uh, plugged in here. So you can see that once that's blinking and uh, everything is kind of uh, the same, it's a time for you to plug this pin at the back. So what I can do is, while that is blinking, we need to observe that. I'm going to plug this one there okay and you observe the light there while that is blinking there will be a change okay so everything went up and then it it blinked like that you can release this one right away if that happened okay once it's going to power on everything should be on reset see that's the normal way of this uh, router booting up then if the orange light comes up it means that this is already powered. So first, before you're going to reset, well, you try to observe the light here and try to see what's the normal blinking lights or display lights that you have here before you're going to reset. Okay, so let's start uh, back from zero to make sure that you got the concept. I'm just going to power this one on. Then I'm going to wait for a bit so everything lit up, okay? Then, okay, so green light, I have one light, observe that one then it should go steady okay and then the other one is blinking so you need to observe that one first okay i'm going to do a reset again i'm going to plug this one and then hold it plug hold it and then you try to observe the light it should change okay wait up okay everything went off and came back so i can release this one already so it means to say that we can now go and connect to this Wi-Fi router using the default username admin admin and then configure this one to the settings that we want, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. Now when you do the full reset, you can actually go here and uh, connect to the Wi-Fi SSID here and the uh, password is 44868123. So we can use that one to connect to this. I'll, I'll go to my laptop and then um, connect to the Wi-Fi I'm going to go Wi-Fi 
then I should be able to see, you can see TP-Link 95, that's the default um, SSID, connect. Then I'm going to type in the Wi-Fi password, which is 44868123. 44868123. I'll enter that. Then when I'm connected, I can go. Okay, so it says no internet because this is not connected to the internet. I'll go to my browser and type in the um, TP-Link. Um, what's that? Yeah, TP-Link Wi-Fi.net. I'm going to type that in my browser. TP-LinkWiFi.net. Okay, so there you go, TP-LinkWiFi.net. Then my username and password here should be admin, then admin. Oops, admin. Okay, so I'll log in. You can use their app as well, but you know, I'm using my laptop right now so that I can record my screen. There you go, I'm in. Then the first thing I can do is jump into my wireless setup so that we can change that. You can see that TP-Link 9FD, this is the connection that we had. I'll put in Torogi Pro. Then what would be region? Um, then mix auto, I can set up one as auto and then I can save this one. Okay, so save, this will disconnect me from the connection that we are currently connected to. So this will be disconnected. Let's wait up. Okay, so you can see here that my connection would be Torogi Pro. I'm going to connect to Torogi Pro. There you go. Then the password is the default setting is still because we were not able to change that one right away. So 44868123, 44868123. Next. Now the next thing we, we are going to change is the default password so that it will be different from the default setting. Okay, we're connected now. So we can do a quick refresh here. It's going to disconnect us because it's going to refresh that. Then the next thing I wanna change is the password, wireless security here at the corner. You can see this password, I'll change this one with um, master123 so that it will not be the default. Then I'll just go ahead and save this setting so as you can see guys once you're in you can change the settings that you want so let's go ahead and change the default setting for the administration here like the admin admin so that anyone who's going to come up here would not actually uh, change the things that we have here firmware password here's the password on the system tools then password now not every single router is the same. This is TP-Link, but they are similar. The concept is always the same. So the old username is admin. The old password is admin. Username would be Torogi Pro. Then new password would be something. Uh, I'm not going to tell you. All right. Then I'm going to save that. Then of course, I'm going to be logged out and I'm going to use Torogi, Torogi Pro the Torogi Pro, then the password. All right, so we're in. That's how we can reset a Wi-Fi router, put it to its default settings, use the uh, information that we have here, change it to the configuration that we want so that we can reuse an old kind of uh, router, okay? So, so if you have learned something from this video, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers. Thank you and see you in my next video.